register a Newline Display Management account, start by visiting the URL newline.glbth.com slash login. From here, you can see that you can do single sign-on with Google or Microsoft, or you can register a new account. If you select register, you can create your login. and select register. To enroll your Newline Display to your Newline Display Management account, start by signing in. If this is the first time you are signing in, you may need to check your email to verify your account. Once you have logged in, from your Newline Display, open up the Gadgets button and select Newline Display Management. From this menu, enter your account name and accept the terms and conditions to begin adding your device. The account name will be the, your domain name of the email. Once you have entered this information, select Enroll. You have now enrolled your Newline Display to your Newline Display Management account. Newline Display Management is a cloud-based device management software that allows for you to provide support to your interactive displays. We are currently looking at the dashboard of Newline Display Management. Here we can look at information on all of the panels that are connected to the account. We can find information such as the hours of usage, the last known location based on IP address, application statistics, last commands sent to the panels, as well as the operating system distribution. In addition to be able to look at all of the connected devices, you can look at individual ones as well. Here I have my RS demo unit. Here I can look at information such as the memory or the Wi-Fi connection, the applications that have been installed, as well as the different actions that I can take, such as remoting into the panel, installing packages, policies, or sending advanced messages. This advanced message feature allows for you to send images with your message. For example, if you have a fire drill, you can send an image of your escape plan. You also can send simple text messages, check the location, the power settings, and manage the panel. We also have Newline specific settings that you can look at. Here on the left side, we have the Newline tab. Here, I can look at information on my specific RS demo unit, such as the toolbars that are on, the input and output information, the power settings, as well as the firmware version. Again, Newline Display Management allows for you to look at information on all of your panels that are connected to Newline Display Management. To adjust the settings on your Newline Display, you'll start by going to the Settings Configuration page. To get there, you can select on an individual device or you can select on multiple devices. Once you've selected your devices, select Actions and Settings. Here we are on the settings configuration page. To create a new settings configuration, select add new. You'll want to label your settings. Once you've created a label, you'll scroll down on the left side until you see the word new line. This is going to be your new line specific settings. To turn on these settings, on the right side, you'll see these multiple gray buttons. If you toggle to the right, the button will turn green. That means the setting is on. If you toggle to the left, you'll see that it turns red. That means that setting is off. If it is gray, that means it is neutral, is not on or off. Now, some of the settings you can adjust on your panel. You can turn on and off eye protection writing, 
You can enable the panels to turn on and off at a certain time of the day. You can enable wake on LAN, eye protection brightness. You can have the panel to automatically switch to a new source when it is plugged in. You can turn on and off your left and right side toolbar. You can turn on the eye protection blue light filter and also adjust that level. You can select a favorite source. You can also clear whiteboard files after a certain amount of time. You can also enable and disable the CEC auto power on and off. And lastly, you can adjust the energy saving mode on all of your new line displays. Once you have created the settings that you would like on your displays, you'll select confirm. Once you have set that, you will select on your settings and select apply. This now will apply all of your settings to the panels you have chosen. Remote control is a powerful tool that makes remote assistance easy and effective. To provide remote support to your display, select on your device. On the right side, you will see the button remote. A pop-up window will appear with a blue background until the remote session starts. If you have a pop-up blocker installed, it may block the remote pop-up control screen. From your display, it will ask if you have permission to provide remote support. You'll select Allow. When the remote session starts, your display background will appear, allowing you to remotely view and control the device. send two types of messages to your panels. You can send a simple text message or you can send an advanced message. An advanced message can include an image and sound. To send a simple text message, you'll select your devices and then actions. You'll scroll down until you see send message. Here, you'll create the title and the body of your message. When you're done creating your message, select Confirm. This will send your simple text message to the panels. To send an advanced message, you'll select your devices and then Actions. You'll scroll down until you see Advanced Messaging. If you have not created an advanced message, you'll select Add New. You will want to give your advanced message a title. And select Next. From here, you can enter in text to show on your advanced message. You can also add an image. To add an image, select Image. Then, if you have not created an image, you'll select Add New. Here, you'll give it a title, and then select File. You also have the option to add audio. That can be one that you upload, or you can record and upload sound as well. Once you have created your image, you can select Confirm. Then select on your image and select apply. Here you can see my image on the right side. You can also add sound. If I select sound, if you have not added a sound yet, you can select add new and upload your audio. Once you've done that, select confirm and apply. You have the option to loop the audio 
as well as set the time in which the message will turn off on the screen. You can enable these by touching on them until they receive a check mark. Once you have created this, you'll select Confirm. When you're ready to deploy your advanced message, you will select on your message and select Apply. This will send the advanced message to the displays you have indicated. To install packages directly from the Google Play Store, you'll start by selecting your device or multiple devices and actions. From here, you'll select Install Package. If you have not created a package, you will select Add New. Here, for your upload method, you will select Package from Play Store. Then, you will want to visit the Google Play Store and find your app. Once you've found your app, you will copy the entire URL and return to New Line Display Management. Here, you will paste the URL and select Upload. Once your app has uploaded, you'll see that it will name it itself. From here, you can select Confirm. And once you have decided you want to install your application, you select it and select Apply. This is how you can install a package directly from the Google Play Store.